Francis Leach with you coming up this hour. We're hoping to speak with Martin Luther King III, son of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who has continued his father's work when it comes to civil rights work and working for peace around the world. He's in Australia at the moment to talk about paths to reconciliation, what we can learn from the American experience. We'll hope to talk to him very soon. But right now, time to catch up with our bedroom philosopher. Hit the snooze button on life. Take five minutes out from the strife. This is Justin Hazelwood, living on the edge of my bed. Justin Hazelwood, our bedroom philosopher this morning, telling us that he's got an idea for a TV show that he'd like to pitch to the producers of Big Brother. Jesus was an intruder on Big Brother. As soon as he came on, two million homes around Australia adjusted the brightness on their TV sets. Within a week, he'd won the house over. They found him genuine, passionate, artistic, kind, and he made a divine pasta bake out of next to nothing. He cracked jokes for all ages and races. He played the banjo and sang songs about freeing the refugees. He got down on his knees. Within two weeks, Mooks had brought out the urban robe. Sandals were back in and kids were wearing halos to school. The TV ratings broke all the records. More people watched Jesus than The Simpsons and Friends and the news combined. He was on the cover of all the magazines and priests were constantly being hounded by reporters wanting the dirt. Church attendances doubled and tripled. People carried signs that said, John 3:16" and Jesus is sick. He was the talk of the schoolyard, the topic of the offices. Jesus was the debate of all the panel shows. Thousands of homes had flashing Christian crosses in their windows. Bible sales reached biblical proportions. Meanwhile, Christians watch the media circus in awe. Just when it seemed that Jesus couldn't be any more popular, the remaining housemates began to plot against him. For they knew he would win unless they all agreed to nominate him. The biggest complaint made against Jesus was that he was too nice and a bit preachy. While it appeared that he had the hearts of all Australians on his side, Jesus mysteriously gained the majority of votes and was evicted. After leaving Big Brother, Jesus refused all interviews, auctioned his possessions for charity and went into hiding. Viewers were devastated. Some kept their TV sets off for three days as a sign of respect. But then, three weeks later, Jesus returned with his own controversial primetime TV show, Everybody Loves Jesus, and an outrated Big Brother, three to one. He then released a hit single, God is in the Heart, and my little sister knows all the words. A parable there from our bedroom philosopher, Justin Hazelwood, about Jesus on Big Brother. A quarter past ten. Everybody wants to touch me. Everybody wants to feel.